what do we want from this as an outcome? I think one of the things is we'd like people to read the MOU, yes, actually read it. It's not a long document. Um, we, we believe vehemently uh, and, and with the, every passion we have that people should be trained to be working in this area um, and that the training that they've had, if they've had any, has been inadequate and it is necessary um, because things are complicated. It's not, it's not difficult, but their training is necessary and that we'd like them to send in to read to read some of that consultation particularly the numbers 34 onwards that you highlighted Iggy and send in their comments to the government about the the conversion therapy consultation in short is that and I'd like to make this request oh. which is that if people are concerned if people are afraid read the MOU on conversion therapy 2017 and Find where, what it is that you're concerned about is in the MOU, because there's a great deal that's been said about the MOU mm -hmm. that actually isn't in the MOU. It's not mm. even there. In fact, it's the very document you're wanting to, to protect the things that you care about. So go directly to the MOU. And uh, if you hear things about, well, yeah, well, that's what it says, but that's not really what they mean. Well. It's what it says. So the document is what can be used and can be referred to, not interpretations that are supposed to be really what we're talking about, because we're going to be held yeah. to account. We have signed this document. The first page is all people need to read who are individual much. practitioners. Yeah. And, and I, I, can I just say, you know, as a uh, we are the MOU isn't an organization, it's no, a coalition. No. Uh, it's a coalition of uh, over 20 organizations that have come to the table to agree that we must protect lesbian, mm -hmm. gay, bisexual, transgender, binary, and non binary, and asexual people. And right. our future will include intersex. We've already had that discussion. Mm -hmm. We aren't, um, we are not an organization. If people feel that the MOU as a document is upsetting them, then if you are a therapist in training or a qualified therapist, please contact your organization. That's mm -hmm. where you start. Mm -hmm. And your organization will then represent your views and bring them to the MOU. Um, that's the way to do it. Uh, right. But I have to say, as the chair of the MOU, and I am incredibly proud that of everybody that's come together to support the MOU, because what the MOU does is it protects a group of people who have been victimised, killed, destroyed, simply because of who they love. Mm -hmm. What we're doing is making sure that in the future, Young people who don't even know today that they are LGBTQIA will be safe in the future. And I hope that all therapists would want to make sure that that stays as it is. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Brilliant.